out there has ever felt different. <laughs> cool, okay. This is a poem about being different, and it's called Chinglish. <laughs> Yesterday, the shop lady smiled at me and said, Your English is very good. <laughs> her eyes crinkled in a let's be nice to aliens kind of way. I wanted to say, of course it bloody is, I was born here. How about you? But of course I said nothing. Hardly her fault. Um, we Asians all look the same anyway. <laughs> Maybe I should have I am Kiwi tattooed across my forehead, except then I'd get in trouble with my mother. My mother. When I was a baby, I cried in Chinese, I thought in Chinese, I dreamt in Chinese, I even pooed in Chinese. <laughs> Mother and father left their English lying around the house like lollies. I didn't touch. I was a good girl then. Us kids used to make houses out of blocks painted in Chinese characters. We used to fight over the bigger blocks painted with longer characters. They were better for building walls. My mum used to say, no talking English at home. I brought it home like a disease from kindy and infected my sisters. <laughs> By the time we were teenagers, my mum was tired from yelling at us. Once, my sisters and I started speaking Māori. We thought we were being smart, even though we weren't actually too good at Māori. English was my camouflage. As long as I thought in English, dreamt in English, wrote in English, yeah, even tried to shit in English. <laughs> I couldn't be too Chinese. Could I? In Hong Kong, I'm swept along the pavement by a torrent of Cantonese, and shop ladies crinkle their eyes at me in a let's be nice to aliens kind of way. Your Chinese is very good, <laughs> I say, for a foreigner. 